Good morning everybody. So today I wanted to do um, a small cooking video because a friend of mine asked for some Mexican recipes for her Thanksgiving dinner. But before that I wanted to show you this cool place we go to in the ranch where my son comes to ride his bike. Okay, everybody, so we're back home and we just had to take the feed out for the chickens. So I need to go feed the chickens real quick and feed the bunnies, and then we're gonna go inside and make something for lunch. All right, everybody, now I gotta go feed the chickens. This is actually, I love feeding the chickens. I don't know why, I feel like they love me, and I know it's just because I feed them, but they're all so cute when they start running towards you. Chick, 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 chicks. You guys hungry? Come on, everybody. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We got one in here right now. She's laying, but she might be broody, and I hope so because we have not gotten any baby chickens yet. Look at her. Aww. All right, time to fill this. Oh, look, here comes our beautiful girl. Here comes our beautiful girl. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, now that feeding the chickens is done, I'm gonna go take care of the rabbits, and then we're gonna head inside. Good morning, baby bummons. Oh, I think my son already fed them this morning, and they have water. Oh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. So good, so good. This is my baby right here. Look at him. You're the cutest little baby bonbon, huh? You're the cutest little baby bonbon. There you go. Aye, there you go. Good morning, everybody. Rock, leave them. Come on, bud. Let's go. All right, so all the chores are done, and me and my daughter are going to walk up to the store and get what we need for food today. And my budget for food for the entire day is 250 pesos, so I'll let you guys know how much we spent after we buy everything. Okay, everybody, so I just got back from the little store up the road, the vegetable store, and you can see I got a bunch of stuff. Tomatillos, achuga, cilantro, calabacitas, limón y savoya and all together oh also i got um tomatoes and all together this was 75 pesos yeah. also i got seven potatoes because we are going to use these in our tortillas and then i got a kilo and a half of fresh tortillas and these were how much were these? 32 pesos, I believe. 32 or 31 pesos. And then also, I also got queso. And this is my favorite right here. Um, and the queso was 22, so it was 22 pesos for my queso. Dios. 
So while some things are cooking, I cut up some onion in here. Just white onion, but purple's my favorite too. I just grabbed white today. That's two white onions. I'm gonna take three limes and I'm gonna squeeze it in here and I'm gonna let it sit for a couple hours because we all love these onions and we put them on top of our food. Okay, so now I've done three limes. I squeezed them in here with the onions. I'm gonna close it, I'm gonna shake it up. Now, these are so, so good if you put um, a habanero pepper in there, like any sort of pepper, it's delicious. But I don't put peppers in there because my kids don't like it too spicy. So I'm gonna check on my salsa. Okay, it's looking good, probably two more minutes. Now I have the steamed tomatoes from earlier that were in the pan inside the water. So we are going to use these tomatoes as a sauce to go on top of our meal today. But then I'm going to use a little bit of it for our rice as well. So they are nice and steamed. You can see the skin kind of peeling. And I'm only using a little bit of water. Not much at all. All right, you guys, so to make Mexican rice today, you are gonna need a bag of rice, tomato puree, cilantro, garlic, onion, nor, we call it norsuita, and a little bit of oil. And then I'm gonna take you guys with me and show you how to make this. All right, you guys, so for a side to this meal, in Mexico, we always have rice or beans. Um, so today I am making rice, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. But first I need to grab my cup because for one cup of this rice, we're gonna use three cups of water. Um, and I'm gonna put the rice into this cup and then I need to strain it and clean it. Not with soap or anything, just with water. We're rinsing all the white stuff that comes off of it. Okay, so now I have my cup of rice. I'm gonna pour it right into the strainer and I'm gonna rinse it. Before I put my rice into the pan, I'm putting a little bit of oil, onion, and garlic. I'll put it in there for about 30 seconds and mix it up, and then I'm gonna put my rice in. Now I'm gonna mix my rice up in the oil until it's like a very, very light brown because it gives the rice such a good flavor. When you first put your rice in here with the oil, it's gonna stick to your pan a little bit and you just have to give it time and then it's gonna unstick and it is gonna start smelling so delicious. This needs probably about a couple more minutes. So now my rice is getting to be a very light brown. That's where I like it to be. You can brown it a little bit more if you want. That's completely up to you. And we need to add um, the tomato to it now. So this is just fresh tomato puree, but obviously you can buy it in like a box or a can at the store. But I'm only gonna put a little bit in. I like to mix this before I put the water in. Gives it a different flavor. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix that up for a minute. I also have my three cups of water ready. And then we have two more very important ingredients to make this delicious. 
And then it will be ready to steam. Okay, next very important ingredient. In Mexico, we call this norsuiza. Um, and you can find this in your grocery Hispanic section because I've gotten this in my store before in the United States. So I'm using about this much. I'm gonna pour it in, I'm gonna mix it, and then I'm gonna try it because that's the important part. You gotta see what your juice for your rice tastes like. If you wanna add some or not add any more, that's gonna be very important. Okay, so next step, I am going to put fresh cilantro in. Almost ready. And I do not chop up this cilantro thin. I just leave it whole like that and throw it in. I'm gonna turn the heat on high for about three minutes and then I'm gonna top it and put it low until it's ready. All right, you guys, so now for the rest of this tomato puree, we're gonna use it to put on top of our potato tacos that we're making. This is oregano. I'm only using a little bit. Put it right in here. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of the North Sweet Sal, or you can use salt, and we're gonna blend that up. Okay, so now you can see my rice is boiling and I've tasted the juice, tastes perfect. I didn't need to add any more Norsuitsa to it. So this has been boiling for about five minutes. Now I'm gonna put the top on it and I'm gonna put it low for another five minutes and then I'm gonna turn it off and let it sit. All right, you guys, so the rice is almost ready. I'm gonna show you what that looks like and then we have to move on to the next step of our meal. So you can see this is almost ready now. I boiled for five minutes, put it on low for five minutes, and now I'm gonna turn it off and let it sit. Now for our potatoes. They boil, and all I did was add some salt and some butter. But you can make your mashed potatoes however you normally make them. Make them. The only thing is, um, to put them inside the tortillas like we're going to today, you don't want them extremely mushy um, or extremely liquidy. You want them a little bit thick. So now that you've seen the potatoes and those are done, I'm gonna let them sit on the stove. Next, we're gonna work on our salsa. So we're not just gonna take everything from the pan and put it into our blender. What you're gonna do first is take out your red chili peppers. You <laughs> can't tell you in the background. Um, and there's a couple of them in here, you can see. And also, I put a piece of garlic in there. You're gonna take that out. I put a little bit of water in, just a tiny bit and you're gonna blend that first before we add anything else. So now I'm gonna add everything else that was left in the pan, our tamatillos. In Mexico it's called tomate, but it's just a smaller tomato. Now everything's in the blender and it's ready to go and I'm just gonna pulse it. I'm not gonna put it on full speed. So now you can see the color of the salsa, kind of a reddish green, and this salsa is so delicious. Next, just add in your salt and a little bit of cilantro and onion if you want. So now we are going to flip these over. You will have more oil in here. I didn't have a lot right now because I had already made some for everybody. This is just the last batch. I do put, you can see it right here, I put a garlic and an onion in here first to flavor the oil. Now once your tortillas add a crispiness that you like, so I kind of go like that, I can see that's the crispiness that I like, I'm going to put them into a strainer for a moment to get all the oil out. So now the potatoes are in the strainer and I'm going to put them on my bowl and I'm going to put all the toppings on. 
All right, you guys, so here's your potato tacos. Now, what I like on mine is you can put lettuce or you can put chopped cabbage. Today we had lettuce, so that's what we're gonna put on top. Next, I'm gonna use, this was the tomato puree with um, oregano, and this is my absolute favorite on these tacos. So I'm gonna really load it up. And then I'm gonna put some of our green salsa that we made. This is, this would be, this isn't like your original um, salsa. So original salsa is like jalapeno, tomato, and cilantro, and onion. This is like a taco salsa. It's so good. Okay, and I'm gonna put some onion on mine. And then I'm also gonna squeeze some lime. 